What is the Mercedes M119 engine and how was it developed? In 1990, Mercedes released a revolutionary V8 that signaled a new step forward for their product line. However, this new engine wasn't as revolutionary as you would think because the bottom end was basically a good old M117 capped with some brand new double overhead cam cylinder heads. Now, where on earth did Mercedes get this idea from? Did they get it from Cosworth and the 190E 2.316 valve? Maybe a little bit. Because there are some similarities between this engine and, I don't know, maybe the AMG Quad Cam V8. But we're going to look at the similarities between the M119 engine, the 2.3 and 2.5 liter Cosworth engines. And we're going to go ahead and look at the M117 Quad Cam and how it contributed to the development of the M119 engine in terms of how similar the two are. Now... The M119 was released in three variants. There was the first variant, which was the 960 that used the KE Jetronic injection system that I love. The most reliable fuel injection system ever fitted to a gasoline engine, in my opinion. It's closely rivaled by Mercedes MFI system on the M130 engine, but still pretty much there, you know. Number two... There was the M119 970, 971, 972. Those engines, I think I got those last three right because these I'm less familiar with. These were the LH engines. They used hot film mass uh, airflow sensors to detect air volume, airway, air pressure, air temperature, and then take that and translate it into a fuel injection quantity. And then there was the last version which used LH but in the guise of Bosch Motronic where they did away with the distributor and they had distributorless ignition with a wasted spark system. And the fuel injection control and the ignition control were merged into one control unit and one wiring harness. This was used on very late M119 engines such as the S500 and was in production concurrently on the uh, R129 until in 98 the M113 was installed in the uh, R129, which reverted back to single overhead cams. Now the most powerful, and in my opinion, the best version of the M119 is the early 960 version that was used exclusively on the 500 SL all the way up to the beginning of the 1993 model year when they switched it for the LH version. This engine is a monster. It makes 330 horsepower box stock with no tuning. AMG put a 560 crank in it and rods and did some other things and managed to get six liters out of it and easily 400 horsepower. These engines are subtle sleeping giants. They really wake up around 3,500 to 4,000 RPM and will absolutely throw you back into your seat as you watch the tachometer climb well above 6,000 RPM and on to top speeds well above 150 miles an hour like the engine isn't even trying. So these things are real monsters. I don't have a lot of great things to say about the durability of the 129 chassis Personally, I think this engine should have gone into the last two years of 126 production, and I think that Mercedes should have considered using it in the 500E when they made the W124 500E. But alas, the only way to get one of these now is to build one, which can be done. Now, to underscore the similarity of how closely related the M117 and the M119 are, you can put an M117 timing cover on an M119 and use an M117 single distributor instead of the M119 dual distributors. You can also study the valve train in the M119, which again is a bucket tap at valve train, and look at the M117 quad cam and say, huh, I see a resemblance. Not only is there a resemblance? But if you look at the exhaust port sizes, the valve duration, 
or the, what they call the camshaft duration, the location of the spark plugs, the design of the combustion chambers, it starts to look vaguely familiar to an M117 quad cam. I don't have a lot of documentation about this. This is based on me going off of my familiarity with the M119 and to an extent my not as great familiarity with the M117 quad cam. But I can tell you that there are some very obvious similarities that anybody could spot who's into these cars. You want to know more? Well, there is more. So first of all, the M117 quad cam engine was designed to use a very specific high flow, high air density type of cylinder porting. Mercedes realized that the M117 could breathe a lot better if they ascribed to this principle because the M117 was not really able to take the air in that it could. What we did learn that was that the M119 and its intake were up to the challenge of getting enough air to the cylinder. And when you unlock the potential of the M117 by creating these special high lift, very, very uh, uh, long port uh, cylinder heads, the engine really wakes up and becomes a 300 horsepower monster, just like the 10 to 1 compression cars were, but much easier with no struggling whatsoever. So this is a very unique characteristic that AMG figured out and then Mercedes decided they were going to use for themselves. Now during the development of the M119, Sauber used it in some of their racing cars and indeed found that it was actually more powerful than the M117 quad cam in its 6 liter guys. And this is one of the reasons why Mercedes actually was so willing to work with AMG, I think, this is just a theory, but they sort of stole their technology or borrowed from their technology and the way, their way of giving back to the company was allowing AMG to build and sell cars like the E36, cars like the E60, which is a 5 liter, uh, which is a 500E with AMG tuning and a big, big crank and big rods. Uh, cars like the G500, which was still a uh, 500GE, which was still an M117 engine. All of these signal that instead of Mercedes shunning AMG, they really felt that they had learned something about their engines that they weren't even fully aware of and were willing to sort of partner with the company and give back to them a little bit to, to sort of share what they learned. Uh, and so out of, out of this M119 engine was how we, we sort of got the partnership between AMG and Mercedes. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. I hope you have a great new year and a, a great Christmas, if that's your thing, and a great rest of your holiday season. And if you guys are... Uh, up for it, you know, I would love to uh, start off the new year by doing more AMG content. So if you want more of that content, just let me know. Thank you so much.